In this video I'm going to show you how you can find standard deviation in your HP 10B2 calculator and for this example we're going to do something very simple, we're going to find the standard deviation of just 1, 2, 3 and the result that we'll get is these two numbers, this is SX which is here on the calculator and this is 1 and this is based on the n minus 1 definition of standard deviation so you would be dividing by n minus 1 and on this sigma x you're getting 0 0.82 and this is based on the n definition of the standard deviation so when we come to do this the first thing that we'll do is we will make sure that the statistics memory of the calculator is cleared so you press this orange button here and then on this m button you'll see there's this c for clear and then you've got this sigma which is for statistics so if we press that we can now rest assured that the calculator no longer has any statistics um, or data rather in its statistics memory so let's enter this data so the way we do it is we type the data point in and then press sigma plus that adds it to the statistics memory so if we press one sigma plus and this keeps count of the things we've entered then two sigma plus three sigma plus is telling us we put three data points in and then we can just do the calculation tell it what we want to calculate if we press orange and then this sx we get one as expected and then we press orange and then we press the sigma x and this gives you the answer here. You've also got SY and sigma Y which are for multivariable statistics so if you had a Y data set and also you'll notice in blue you've got the sum of the squares, um, the products and other statistics functions like the root mean squared down here. So hopefully this video has been helpful to you and you can now do standard deviation on this calculator quite easily and finally thank you for watching.